Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Night Owl Lacquer Snowy Owl and I'm going to stamp. I started off with Neltik's Formula 2 and here is Snowy Owl and I have topped it off with Posh Top Coat. We're going to do some stamping with BM309 and BM407 and this is BBFM12, the Harry Potter plate and BBFM11, another Harry Potter. I'll be stamping with Nicole Diary NSO2 and my Monocle Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper. And this is just a whole kit and caboodle of clear stampers. I realized I needed more because I decided I was going to make kind of, not really decals, but I'm just going to, you know, put them all on there. And I guess they're kind of decals, but I'm not going to be peeling them up. I'm going to be stamping them direct. So I'm just pulling up the images in black and cleaning up any excess for all of the images I want to use today using that Nicole Diary Black Stampin' Polish and I'll be filling them in here in a little bit, the ones that can be filled in. And I'm just blinking along, just getting all those images. And this really wasn't an owl, but I remember the owl was in a cage, so I just decided to use it anyway. I've been really looking forward to doing this. And here we go with the last plate. A little bit more cleanup. <laughs> and I'm going to be filling it in with Wicked Slider. And this is from our uh, good friend, Miss Tara, over at... Um, Braves Diva Nails. This is one of her anniversary polishes. But if you don't have this one, you could use any kind of like rosy gold or golden looking, bronzy looking metallic polish. I have gotten word that she is not planning on restocking the anniversary polishes. Now the other two that came out will be, you know, like Rain Delay and uh, the other one, the 643 or <laughs> I can't remember the name of it but she will be redoing those but I'm just filling these in with a tiny little detail brush on the ones that have open space and can you know take some more color I'm just kind of dotting it in trying to be real careful not to drag over the original stamping because I did not put a clear coat over these I did not protect them I'm just getting all crazy today really love this cute little image with these owls on it. Dun, 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 dun. Fill them in, fill them in. There we go. I'm going to fill this one in. It's a little bitty owl. I love it. It's so cute. We have hooty owls here and I love hearing them talking to each other. Now I'm going to let those dry and while they do I'm going to apply a coat of this yellow stopper to all of my nails just to add a little bit of stickiness to them so that those images will transfer from the stampers to my nails. I'm just not doing, I'm not doing like a real coat, I'm just doing kind of like a thin coat. Very very thin, I don't need a whole lot, I just need it to be just a little sticky. And I like doing it this way way better than, you know, making for real decals. I like stamping straight onto the nail and this method seems to work really well for me. So we're going to go in with this owl and I know you're thinking, oh, but you put it in all crazy. I've got him kind of flying in from, you know, from above. He's flying. And then here's the big owl and it's going on my pointer finger and I'm doing him across my nail. So I've got one flying down, one flying up, tapping it down to make sure it sticks. And here's the little bird cage one that'll go on my middle fingernail. That little image is so cute. And then my other little owl that got filled in will go on my ring finger. I wanted to do this so that I wasn't covering up the snowy owl completely. And then here's the 
double L that's going to go on my thumb. And this image wasn't really quite big enough, but I didn't mess with filling it in. I'm going to go ahead and top this one off with some Posh Top Coat and seal it all in. Seal that stamping in. I love when you put the top coat, how that black and gold just, oof, they just pop out. I'm going to break out Woody. Give you a little bit of clean up. And I'm going to cover up the rest of these. Sorry about that. We had some adjustments we needed to do on the camera and the lights. There we go. Much better. I'm going to top coat all of them. And then we'll call this manicure to done. And that one I did get a little bit of smearing, but not too bad. But, you know, maybe I should have waited a little longer, but Miss Impatient had to just hop right on into it. Here we go. We are to done with this one. I would love to hear what you think about it. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this manicure. Here's my swatch photo. That is all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.